Isaac Butterfield, ladies and gentlemen, is an Australian comedian, YouTuber, proud new dad, an all-round funny bastard. He's been at it since 2015 or 16, if I understand correctly, and he specialises in, shall we say, edgy humour. Now, before we get into this travesty of a story, I'm going to cut to a quick sponsor. I'll see you in a sec. <laughs> Let's talk about Atlas VPN. Developed by top cyber security specialists and IT engineers in 2019, Atlas VPN was created to make the internet accessible and secure for everyone. And you can get the big deal now for just $1.83 per month, plus three months extra. Protect your privacy and get the many benefits of Atlas VPN for this ridiculously low price. You can take this limited time offer by clicking the link in the description. Now, you know what I love about Atlas VPN? Is I'm sitting there like, oh, what am I gonna watch? today and it's all boring because I've seen all the stuff and so I open up Atlas and go beepity boop America I go to roku.com which is only available in like America, Canada and England for some reason and bingo bango I'm watching SEAL Team 6 this is one of the best VPNs on the market it'll unlock your favourite content from all over the world keep your Google searches in private don't let people track your results get real and organic search results it'll stop ads and malware because it's more than just a VPN it blocks all the malicious ads and trackers and notifies you when someone's trying to steal your data. You can get super cool deals. I'm talking like real discounts. Look at this. And last but not least, protect unlimited devices. Like I said, you can get Atlas VPN now at a huge discount. A three year subscription for just $1.83 per month, plus three months extra and a 30 day money back guarantee. Time's running out, so get your deal in the video description or in the pinned comment. So Isaac Butterfield, Australian comedian, YouTuber, and all round funny bastard. As I said, he specializes in edgy humor. It's hard in the comedy industry for a white guy, right? There's too many white guys in the comedy world, apparently. I heard that as a young comic. I thought, how am I gonna do this? I wish that I had something wrong with me, like I was a woman or black. And... <laughs> I mean, clearly a joke. He's a comedian. He makes jokes. That's what comedians do. But this comedian has achieved an Australian, if not a world first. He's actually been summoned to appear before the Queensland Human Rights Commission because of some edgy jokes. Now, these jokes were about Aboriginals, which is a massive no-no, because you can't joke about Aboriginals for some reason. But the incredible thing is that it only took one person's complaint to said Human Rights Commission to set all this in motion. That's right, one person got offended by some jokes and now Isaac Butterfield, an edgy comedian, is being scrutinised over whether or not he violated someone's human rights. You see, there's a simple to understand, easy to read Universal Declaration of Human Rights, endorsed and published by the UN. And the funny thing is, I can't find in any of its articles the right not to be offended by edgy jokes. What I can find in Article 19 is the right to freedom of expression through any media regardless of frontiers. So it would be interesting to know which human right has been violated by Isaac and we'll do a bit more looking into this as this saga goes on. But in the meantime, let's have a squiz at the offending jokes in question. White people in Australia never really culturally appropriated Aboriginal culture because there's nothing that we really wanted except for the kids. We, uh... <laughs> Let's be honest, we never looked at tapping sticks and thought, oh, fuck, we need those. Uh, I thought I'd never seen Aboriginal pornography before. And on top of that, I thought I'd never seen an Aboriginal pornographic magazine. It turns out I have, it's just known as a different name, National Geographic magazine, all right? One more, this is the piece de resistance. Uh, have you ever seen a transgender Aboriginal? <laughs> of course you haven't. They're hard to spot because the ladies already look like blokes. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so that's it, okay? Uh, jokes that are designed to be offensive, quick, short, sharp, silly little jokes, right? Believe it or not, I don't believe them. That's not how I actually think about Aboriginal people at all. Okay, so edgy jokes. Nothing that wouldn't fall under freedom of expression. So what exactly are the Queensland Human Rights Commission playing at here? I thought we'd have a look at one of their educational videos, A Bystander's Guide. What should you do to find out more? Have you seen public acts of harassment, vilification or racist abuse, but been unsure of what to do? 
Here are some things that you could do as a bystander, but only if it is safe to do so. You should never put yourself or others at risk. If you see a person harassing someone else, speak up. Say something to make it clear that you don't agree. Doing nothing may make the harasser think you support their actions, but speaking up may make them think about what they are saying or doing. It also lets the victim know that there is support nearby. Yeah, see, who was the victim here? You can't name anyone because there wasn't a victim. He's making a generalised joke about Aboriginal people. Just like people make generalised jokes about white people. If it is safe to do so, use your mobile phone to take video or photos of the incident. Well, I mean, it was part of one of his widely published comedy specials. It was already being filmed. Note whether the person has any identifying characteristics. Ah, uh, yeah, he's about seven foot fucking eight, massive beard. He's basically a really funny Ned Kelly. Get medical help if anyone has been hurt. Check if the victim is okay and make sure that they have somewhere safe to go. Give your details to the victim so that you can be their witness if needed. Oh, here's my phone number, random offended Aboriginal person. Now, can I get you a wambulance? It was a fucking joke. Settle down. If you've experienced or witnessed racist abuse or harassment, you can report it to the Queensland Human Rights Commission. If you were the target, you might be able to also make a formal complaint to the Commission. If you were the target, you might be able to make a formal complaint to the commission. That is interesting, because I didn't hear Isaac mention anyone by name. I didn't see him point at anyone. I saw him make an edgy joke about Aboriginals in general. So how did this complaint get escalated into a full hearing? Are we not allowed to make generalised jokes anymore? Now, you probably haven't seen the next clip, because it's from a little-known show produced by the state-funded ABC network called Black Comedy. It features a very white, very Anglo-Saxon ex-neighbours star Brooke Suchwell impersonating an Aboriginal woman. Take a look. Can you stop talking like that? Like what? Like you're black. Don't you be discriminating against me because of how I talk. You feel a proper racist. Excuse me? If anybody's racist, it's you. Don't be dragging me into your identity crisis. Oh, la di da Don't you be using your big words and phrases on me. Not all of us had a privileged education. But you went to an all-girls private school. So? In Switzerland. Don't judge me because of my hegemocation. But you're the one that... What is wrong with your mob? I've never been doing anything to you. The only thing I've been guilty of is loving you, John. I've been giving my all, but I've never been getting nothing in return. And now you're gonna sit here with your hop-down woman and pass judgment on me? On the way I talk, on my education. Not all of us been out the life you all have been have, you know? You fella so privileged that you don't know what it's like to be judged and discriminated against. So let me get this straight. Isaac Butterfield can't joke about Aboriginal women looking like men, but Brooke Satchwell can joke about Aboriginal women being abusive alcoholics who openly drink at train stations and harass and threaten passers-by. What's the difference here? Both are in the context of comedic entertainment. Both joke about Aboriginal women, but Brooke Satchwell did what she did on the government's dime. That's the difference. Now the government dime is trying to haul Isaac Butterfield over the coals for the exact same thing. It's disgusting, it's un-Australian, and if it's not laughed out of court or tribunal or whatever the fuck, then we've got real problems. So what exactly does the Human Rights Commission hope to achieve here? Well, let's hear it from the Butsman himself. What outcome would you like to resolve your complaint? Apology and training. Well, I'm not going to apologise. Obviously, they're jokes. They're not real. They pretend. I don't mean them. I'm not a horrible person that hates Aboriginal people at all. That is ridiculous. And I'm not going to go to training. That's also ridiculous. You could send me to training and you can teach me about all the horrible things that have happened to your people. Most of them I know about and I feel horrible about them that they happened to you. 
but I'd still make the jokes because that's what comedians do. So they want him to go through some sort of training or re-education and they want an apology out of him. How fucking stupid is that? No amount of training or re-education is going to make him stop joking about things he finds funny. And as for an apology, sure, he could write some empty, vapid, corporate-style apology, but it'd mean fuck all because he's not fucking iDubs. I'm a human. I'm a real human who makes mistakes. I don't think anyone deserves that level of cruelty or hate. I am very insecure. I was being very bigoted. Casual racism is still racism. Casual bigotry is still bigotry. I know that this apology isn't enough. I'm sorry. Isaac Butterfield is an Aussie comedian. His job is to do funny and he's gonna keep doing funny. What a waste of time and effort. It is, however, a scary precedent. How long until others are hauled before this kangaroo court? How long until I get my letter? Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll keep you up to date as this shit show progresses. Cheerio, ta-ta.